Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Aaron, and today we're playing The Walking Dead Season 3. It was really hard for me to hold up my fingers like that. <laughs> so, hey guys. I have a lot I need to talk about in regards to Season 2. Um, it's It's been a while since I recorded, and uh, I, I've, <laughs> I've had a lot of internal conflict the past few weeks, but uh, I'm going to talk a lot about, you know, what's been going on and my thoughts on Season 2 and the choices I made, etc. I also did play 400 Days after Season 2, so I did talk a little bit about my feelings on Season 2 in the recap of that video, but for those of you who haven't seen it and are just hopping in after Season 2, here I am. <laughs> so the ending for Season 2, the finale, was... it just really got to me. Everything about it really got to me. I still don't know how people are gonna take it, haven't released that video yet, so I don't know, but I am really nervous about it. I really have been. It really messed me up. So <laughs> I'm going to talk a bit about season two's finale. So let's get into the recap. So episode five started off right after the firefight with Arvo and the group of people that he was with. And I guess nobody from our group got shot in that moment, but it was still something where everyone was firing at each other. It was just a mess. But luckily Jane came back and she did save us. I wasn't expecting her to come back. And to be honest, I'm kind of upset that she did, but I digress. After the firefight, we went over to Kenny and we changed his bandage with his eye. At this point, it's becoming clear that he He's very much attached to AJ, which is a name that he decided for the baby, Alvin Jr. He, he's very much attached to this child. I feel like he's looking at it like a second chance. He wanted a second chance at being a dad and it was it's really sweet seeing his bond with this baby and because Arvo kind of caused the death of Rebecca or at least was why it was so premature. I feel like all the stress just got to her but she was already kind of dying anyway but I think Kenny saw it as Arvo was the cause behind her death and so now AJ does not have a mother and I think all of that it played a huge part in his mental state and how angry he was at Arvo and he spent the rest of the time pushing him around and being horrible to him but Arvo did say that he had some supplies in a house so he led us there. They took a little bit of a break and I don't know if it was like a power plant section or whatever but we had a really sweet moment with all of us around the campfire it was probably the most wholesome part we've seen in a while. I mean, I feel like these games have so much emotional moments and so much stress going on where it's really nice when we have scenes where it's just relaxed and chill for a minute and we get to know the characters a little better and it was very sweet. Um, we found out that it was Luke's birthday or somewhere around there and we had a conversation with Kenny where he talked about how much he missed Duck and Katja and how he feels like he wasn't that great of a father and it that got me really emotional of course I mean how could it not but afterwards we left that area in the morning and in order to get to the house that Arvo was talking about we had to cross this frozen lake and of course I mean I kind of saw this coming but Luke did fall through the ice and he was killed I don't know if it was my fault or not. I feel like he would have fallen through anyway but I did try to go to save him but it was really sad because Luke Luke was a really good guy, I feel like. I gave him shit sometimes, but he was he was one of my favorite characters of the original group that we met. And it's just sad that that's how he died. I feel like it was such a waste of his character. And I liked his relationship with Clem. I thought it was really sweet that he was kind of like a big brother to her. And I'm gonna miss him. And Bonnie got super emo because I think she was in love with him. And uh, yeah, after we all settled in for the night, Kenny was outside trying to fix up a truck and him and Clem kind of had another conversation and eventually he did get the truck started up. But in the middle of the night, we woke up to see Bonnie and Mike escaping with Arvo and they were about to steal the truck that Kenny had just fixed up. They were taking like all their supplies too and it really did feel like a stab in the back and I was really upset. I demanded that they give our stuff back and they they don't take the truck, but Arvo shot Clem in the shoulder. And can I also just say, I don't like Arvo at all. He was such a, he's such a stupid character. I don't know why, but he frustrates me like looking back. I was so nice to him the whole time and he was nothing but horrible to me. And he ended up shooting Clem in the shoulder. And it just, I just, ugh. When Clem passed out, she had a flashback with Lee and oh my god, <laughs> that really got me. Anytime I see Lee from now on, I mean, I'm gonna cry either way because I just miss him so much. Like, I, I really do miss how 
comforting he was and just seeing him in that flashback was just like a punch to the gut it was it was so hard to get through because i was just crying the whole time and he reminded clem that people aren't always the same after everything that they go through i mean grief really changes people and when clem woke up she was in the car with jane kenny and aj and they were all driving away. They were both arguing at the same time, trying to figure out where to go next. And it just escalated further and further until the car crashed and we were separated. When we all met up, Kenny was insanely angry. He demanded to know where AJ was. And that's when Jane told him that she was sorry and she made it sound like AJ was dead. And of course, this just sent Kenny off the handle and he attacked her. They were fighting for a while and I had the option to let him kill her or to shoot Kenny. And and I know my choices, both of my choices here that I made are gonna piss off so many people, which is why it was so upsetting to me. I'm just full of so much regret, but I ended up shooting Kenny. And again, I'm, <laughs> I think I had to remind people when it comes to multiple choices in games, Almost always I choose the worst option first. And usually games like these, I always make the worst decisions. I mean, I did in um, Wolf Among Us where I burnt the tree down and I don't even know why. It was one of those things where I did it and then I had immediately regretted it. Like, why did I do that? But for that one, I could let it go because it was just a tree. But for this one, I couldn't. I couldn't let it go. I wasn't looking at it like a betrayal to Kenny. I was more or less looking at it like I wanted to give him peace in some sort of way because he had just been so broken at that point that he felt like he had lost everything and I didn't really realize, you know, that Jane did this on purpose, that she hid AJ on purpose to purposely make Kenny go insane because he thought the kid was dead. Forget it. I mean, that just made me so livid. And I know, again, the whole point of this series is to kind of make you regret your decisions that you make. And I think the best thing to do is to just let your choices be there and accept your consequences. But for this, I mean, I had been so anxious the rest of the day and I couldn't let it go. I, I've been sitting there for hours thinking about the ending and texting a bunch of people and I ended up putting up a poll on my members uh, community channel and I asked you guys what I should do. Should I replay it and save him or should I just let it go? And the majority was to replay it and in my heart I know that's what I should have done to begin with. Even though he is my favorite character of like basically the whole game, it was it was really a split second decision and I, I still don't know exactly why I did it, but yeah. Don't know what I should have done. I really don't. I knew that either way I was gonna get hate, so I might as well do what I wanna do, which was to go back and change it. That is something that has really bothered me since because I've never done that for a series and I never want to again because I felt so bad about it. And I know that some people like to save scum, you know, but for a series, I think it takes you out of the immersion and it's just not something I'm proud of. Like I still am filled with so much guilt and, and like shame over it. And I feel like, again, being dramatic, but to me it's not really because I have so many people that are enjoying this series and I just want to make you guys happy. So on the second route, I let Kenny kill her. We ended up finding AJ who was unharmed and we left together. We made it to Wellington, which was this huge area with these giant walls, but they wouldn't let us in. They would only let Clem and AJ in and not Kenny because they only wanted the kids in there, which to me is kind of bullshit because why can't you just let one extra person in? I get that they're strict or whatever, but come on. But I made the decision to stay with Kenny and I <laughs> I do feel such a strong devotion to this character. I know it's ridiculous um, because he is most of the time kind of crazy. You know, I just, I really do feel such a strong loyalty to him. And even though I did that to him to begin with, I feel like I'm gonna be called a hypocrite or whatever, but you know what? This is what I wanna do. <laughs> this is what we're doing. So now Kenny's with us and AJ, I don't know. I'm pretty sure there's gonna be a time skip. I don't know how long Kenny is gonna last because most of the time, if a character has the opportunity to die in one episode, they're probably gonna die in like the next one. So I am mentally prepared to see him die in this episode, episode one. I really don't know if he's going to or not, but we'll see. I'm so sorry for how big of a mess everything turned out to be. 
Um, I know a lot of people were looking forward to that episode, so I just, I felt so guilty about it. And it really made me, it, it made me stop recording for a bit because I felt so guilty. So, you know, so I haven't played this game in a while, a few weeks now. And um, I'm ready to get back into it. I'm ready to see where it goes. I'm very excited to play season three. I hope I enjoy it. I really, really enjoyed season two. Hope you guys get the impression that I do really care about these characters and I care about the choices that I make very deeply. Anyways, I hope you guys are still enjoying this series even though everything has happened. So anyways, let's not waste some more time. Let's get into season three and see what happens. Okay, it feels really good to be back by the way. It's been a long time since I recorded for like, the actual series. I mean, 400 days I did play after that, but we're gonna get into season three. A new frontier. It looks like we have a whole new family going on. Uh, as the world falls apart, Javier Garcia fights to keep his family together while Clementine searches for the last person. Person. Clementine searches for the last person she has left. I don't know what that means. <laughs> I don't think that's Kenny. Could it be Krista? I don't know. Someone pointed out that Lily, we didn't see Lily die either. So like Krista and Lily probably come back. I don't know if, if uh, Clementine's going to be searching for, for Krista, but I'd love to see her again. Um, also, someone did say that uh, her baby, she did have a miscarriage or something and it just wasn't explained, which I, again, I feel like is weird. Or the baby was stillborn or something like that. I don't, I don't know. But let's do this. I'm very nervous. Oh god. <laughs> you know what? It's fine because whatever happens... Okay, these are all... It's all good. Whatever happens, I am not changing anything. I promise you guys. Oh my god, look, she's so much older! Okay. Choose how you how to begin your story. Walking Dead, a new frontier can be started as a brand new story or as a continuation of season two, one and two choices you made. Obviously, I'm continuing my story. Would you like to import a save? Yes. <laughs> oh God. AJ, Kenny, and Clem continued on to Wellington where Clem learned Kenny would not be allowed in, so they left Wellington together. Yes, that is what I would like to do. Oh wow. Oh my god, look how much older she is. Look at that. Oh my god. I don't know what's happening here, but we're gonna find out. We'll see. <laughs> when Javier and his family accidentally cross paths with a rival group, a simple misunderstanding quickly spir spirals out of control. So are we playing as them? No, I feel like we're still playing as Clem. Hopefully. <laughs> I don't know. I'm just excited to see them again. It's been, it's been so long. Depths the choices you make, stories tailored, how you play. Unfortunately, it's been giving me stress. Hey. It's time. Get over here. All right. I'll, uh, I'll start packing up. Now. Javi, you need to hurry. Whoa. Look, I'm not giving you shit, okay? The graphics. Just, <laughs> you were here when Dad was sick, okay? I get it, but you need to fucking be here when he goes. I know. All right, I'm just on my way. So this is obviously a flashback. Wow. Your game looks really good. David! Oh. It's David, hey! Hey, David, I had to leave my car. It's, traffic's just it's backed up for miles. He's dead. Aw, oh, he wasn't there. No, no, I, I, I tried. You're a piece of shit. You know that? One time. Just the one oh, goddamn we are time playing as him. Oh my god, here. okay. Uh. I tried. Please, I tried. Oh, you tried. You fucking tried? Traffic was backed up. <laughs> Who are you? Everyone's here. They've been here for days. And where the fuck were you? <clears throat> we're there, all around him. People who love him, all around him. And he's scared. 
I'm seeing the panic in his eyes, and he's searching the room. ¿Dónde está Javier? ¿Dónde está mi hijo? I'm there, right beside him, holding his hand. Like a good son. And he doesn't even see me. He doesn't even see me because he's looking for you. You don't think there's a million places we'd rather be? You don't think we all had to make sacrifices? Well, go on then. Hit me. All right, if it makes you feel better. I deserve it. So you go ahead. Yeah, I intend to. Uncle Javi? Aw. Why, why are you fighting? We're just playing. I can hear you from inside. What's going on? We were just, uh, talking, Gabriel. Right. Your uncle and I are just having a little chat. Go inside, mijo. We'll be in in a minute. Go on. It's okay. Inside. Hmm. This is interesting. I wasn't expecting to play as them, but... <clears throat> That's sad, though. I mean, he's just grieving. I should call someone. Pick up the body. I don't really blame him for being angry. <laughs> like, at all. Yeah. Guys. I love you, little brother. You know that, right? Fuck off. With everything oh my going God. on. I know. These graphics are amazing. You think I was jealous of you? No, I, I don't think anything. I know you are. Well, I was. <laughs> Yeah. For a long time. Dad's picking favorites. You've lost more than I'll ever have. But maybe something good can come out of all this. Because we need you here. It's time to grow up. You can't run from this. Not Try anymore. To be nicer. Um. I know. You're right. I won't even argue. You should have been there I'll for be his dad, though. Honestly. You can count, count on it. it, huh? I want to believe that. I do. Javi. Hi. Kate. Stranger. <laughs> I'm so sorry, Javi. I'm so sorry. Wow, all the, I mean, the facial Thank animations, you. everything is so much better. Let's like... go inside. Your mom needs you. What yeah. happened? Traffic. <laughs> Come on. Hmm. Might want to pay attention to that siren going on. <laughs> that might be a problem. Hey, guys. I just have to learn everyone's names and stuff first. Mama. Oh. Where were you? Fair enough. I tried. I tried. I'm so sorry. He's gone, mijo. He's gone. He's in a better place, mama. At least you won't have to deal with the zombie apocalypse. David made arrangements with your father before he passed. No puedo conectarme. Dicen que no hay servicio. This is definitely an interesting turn of events with like not starting with Clem. I mean, obviously she's in this season, but You thirsty baby? You want some juice? Why is she Grandpa's cup was empty. She holding it like that. Oh wait, she doesn't know? You don't have to fill his cup up oh. anymore, baby. Grandpa is sleeping. No, Yaya. Pipo's awake. Oh, shit. Oh, wow. Yeah, I just 
realize that. Oh, man. Oh, no. Someone, someone grab her, please. Oh, God. Is she not concerned that he's making that noise? Oh my god. Rafa? How is this possible? It's not him. Oh god. No. Don't touch him. Oh no. Uh. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh no. Oh, don't let him die, too. I'm sorry, Papa. Oh, their mom, too. We need to go. We need to get her to the hospital. Oh. Let me look at it. Let me look at it. Gabriel, where's your sister? <laughs> keys! Where the fuck are the keys? Take Dad's car. Keys are on the dash. My God, this poor family. It's just bad from bad to worse. Get the kids. Meet at the hospital. Don't take the highway. It's blocked. <gasps> oh no! Oh and oh God! I hope she doesn't die in the I'll car. The Where's Mari? She'll attack him. I, I don't know. Mija. Mariana, on the stars. Mariana, we have to go. Gaga's hurt. Come on, honey. We have to go. No! No! Girl, we don't have a choice. Get your ass in the car. <laughs> Get your ass in the van. County General Hospital. I know the way. Uh, put on your seatbelts, though. Damn. Oh no. Oh. I mean, they don't really know what it means yet, though. Jeez, man. What a disaster. Tell me when it reaches the campfire. So she's still around. I have a beard now. Oh, jeez, I'm dizzy. Uh... I think we should probably get going. We will. I just need to know how fast they're moving. Are you timing it? Damn it. I left my water bottle. Her just got there. <sighs> just under four hours. Come on. We should keep moving while the kids are asleep. Yeah. So he's separated from his brother, so... I don't know how much of a chance he had if she died in a car and then attacked him, like... Mm. It looks like the herd is speeding up a little. Oh, she's older, I though. I was drifting southwest, but I'm not sure anymore. Oh, well, they're both older. Every time I think we should just bed down somewhere and wait for it to pass, I can't shake the thought of us getting caught in the middle of it. It just keeps coming. It's slow, but that almost makes it worse. It makes it feel like we're in control. We should keep moving. It worked for us so far. As long as we stay supplied, we're fine. Yeah, maybe you're right. The van isn't so bad. We'll figure it out. We always do. Hey, 
Hmm. I'm gonna sneak a smoke. I can't believe you found weed. Are you kidding? People were probably growing this before they realized they needed food. True. <laughs> Uh... <laughs> you want me to do that? The last joint you rolled looked like a kazoo. You're driving, and I've come a long way since then. Fair enough. Uh, it was like three days ago. <laughs> Relax. Mariana's got headphones on and Gabe is drooling. I think we're in the clear. Mariana and Gabe. I don't know what her name is, though. You want some? Hell yeah. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> sure. <laughs> we are setting an awesome example. <laughs> <laughs> Don't judge me. <laughs> Listen, it's the apocalypse, man. Oh, when I found out David had kids, I told him I am not changing who I am around them. <laughs> and when he proposed, I reminded him that I'm not exactly stepmother material. Oh, that's his. Oh, I thought that was. I thought that was Javier's wife. Case okay. in point. He was reassuring, but you know, I could tell he was worried about it. I knew he'd try to get me to change. <laughs> or at least he'd hope that being around the kids more would change me. You know. <laughs> I suppose it did. If it helps, I think you're doing a fine job. Yeah, it'd really help your case if you weren't waving a joint around while you said that. Again. What? The apocalypse. How is this not a ringing endorsement? I used to talk shit about all those mothers who'd go on about raising their kids being the hardest thing in the world. Oof. Gabe's making me start to think they had a point. <laughs> His mood swings are just... Oh, I don't know. Oh, boy. Some days I just won't leave him by the side of the road. Gonna have to deal with a crabby... Teenager I'm joking <laughs> Jesus obviously uh... Gabe's been Emotional lately. I'm sure he's just you know going through a phase. They still have that van though. <sighs> That's kind of impressive <laughs> Right That's cute Look, I love these kids But I could do without Gabe reminding me. I'm not his mother whenever he's pissed. He's a teenager. Puberty. Hormones. Did we see his mom? She's probably just not in the picture oh, yeah. anymore. The second you start getting boners, the whole world starts to get dark. <sighs> what are you talking about? It sounds delightful compared to dealing with <laughs> bloody underwear. Yeah, and you still have to deal with that in the apocalypse. That doesn't go away. Christ. I need to get laid. <laughs> his eyes. <laughs> Listen. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I realized that was an awkward transition. Sorry about that. You know the kids can hear you. I just, no one wants to hear their parents talking about that. Stepmoms and uncles don't count. Yeah, we're not the parents. They're asleep. And besides, Man. we're not really their parents. Still. Are they together? Because that's kind of a fucked up. <laughs> like, that's his brother's so girl. Smell. That's gross. Uh, we hit a skunk. Yeah, that's about what it smells like. Uh... Hey! Mariana! Shouldn't you be, uh... Sleeping? Or, or something? I already know you guys do drugs. <laughs> that's a pretty severe way of phrasing it, Mariana. It's just weed. Don't tell Gabe. He's the one who told me. Oh, oh my god. You're <laughs> even smoking in the car now? Oh god, right. he's emo. Everyone roll the windows down before you all get contact high. <laughs> That's how it feels sometimes at my stop. job. Some people come in that have probably just smoked in the car and they come in and my eyes are like watering so bad. It's pretty nasty, man. As someone who doesn't smoke weed, I don't care if anyone else does, but like, if I had to be around to smell it, man, <laughs> it's just so stinky. Also, has he changed since the apocalypse started? Or did, was he wearing that the whole time? I don't remember. I think it, I think it was a different shirt. I don't, I don't remember. But yeah, uh, that's his brother's like wife. So let's maybe not hook up with her because that's kind of messed up. <sighs> 
nice. Hey girl, you alright? <laughs> oh. Oh, she's just praying. You want a moment alone, Mari? I'm praying I find a candy bar. <laughs> <laughs> All right. What do we actually need? Uh, a candy bar. <laughs> need, Mariana. Not want. I really uh... need a candy bar. You heard the crowd. <laughs> Please, God, let there be candy bars. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> All right. Well, let's start with some gas. I can't get over... From there. <laughs> the facial animations are so good. I mean, season two was an improvement, for sure. Oh. QTEs are different. <laughs> Die. <laughs> and... Die. Oof. Hey, where are you going? Oh, God. I have to deal with his stank attitude. Okay, that's cool. Have fun. Jesus. It never ends with him. Good lord. I hate when they fight like that. I really hate it. It's like all Gabe wants to do is argue. It doesn't matter what it's about. <sighs> well, that makes two of us. But we're stuck with them, so... <laughs> At least you have your headphones. Yeah, but the batteries have been dead for a couple of weeks. Aw. I mostly wear them to fool you guys. <laughs> That's sneaky. Um, it's easier to stay out of it that way. <laughs> you, you sneaky little. <laughs> That's smart. That's pretty smart. But you gotta pay you attention to, to things around dinner. you. In a junkyard. You never know. These past four years, people have been hoarding all kinds of shit in all kinds of places. Oh, and Mari, if there's any trouble, you can find one of these cars. Yeah? Lock yourself in and don't come out. Not even once it's quiet. And wait as long as you can. Just okay. hope that we can find you, I guess. Girl. Sorry about the cut. <laughs> oh, here we are. Standing. I had to switch the battery for my camera. Uh, but here we are. Uh, there's a weird texture on the ground. That's awesome. Look at barrels. <laughs> Waste oil. No use to us. Hmm. Um. Yeah, it's really interesting that uh, we're not playing as Clem. I wasn't expecting this. Like, I knew that. Just rotting bits of old rubber and tires. We would see new characters and stuff, of course, but I figured it would start out with her. But you know what? Nothing good left. Someone picked it clean. I'm down for anything, and I do like this group so far. Except Gabe. <laughs> Gabe is annoying me already. Uh, I don't know how to run. How to walk faster. Hey. Hey. Any luck, kiddo? I need a pen. Why? She looks like Clementine. <laughs> or a pencil. Just something to write with. Uh. A pen? Why are you looking for that? There's just something I really want really need to do and I need a pen for it last night I was thinking about this stupid story my mom used to tell me all the time before bed I used to hate it but but then I realized I don't remember the ending it was this goofy ending she thought was so funny and I thought was so dumb I want to write down everything I can remember about everything because if I forget and they're all gone I'm kind of gone too at least a little bit I just think that might be kind of important. Maybe. That's a great idea, Mariana. I don't have a pen, though, so bye. That's a great story. <laughs> cool story, bro. <laughs> I'll just see myself out. Uh, she seems sweet. Like I said, though, she really looks like Clum. But that's fine. Most of the dashboard is torn out. Seats are gone. Eh, this thing's dead. Are they looking for a new car or just gas? Because that wouldn't really matter, right? I'll hold R2 to walk. I tried that, but I didn't... <laughs> I didn't go any faster. Oh, that's gross. Poke. <laughs> Ew. <laughs> okay.
Okay. Now I'm sorry I did that. <laughs> I don't know why that was an option, but it's fine. Uh, what's her name? Kate. Okay. Kate. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not about to bang my uh my brother's wife. That's a little awkward. That could hold a lot of gas. Could be really handy if we stayed for a while. Hmm. Once this car made someone very happy. Now it sits here, rotting away. Así es la vida. Well, let's siphon some gas. Wait, that wait, I still ha I still have a lot to look at though. Oh no. Oh, what? What? Oh god. Huh. <laughs> Why is this stressing me out? All right, wait, wait, wait. Hopefully that doesn't skip anything. I'm gonna talk to her in case I like miss dialogue. You find anything? I can't stop thinking about that herd. We get caught in it, and and that's it. Peace, asshole. Can't charm your way out of that one. <laughs> We'd be gone in seconds. Javier is cute. Uh. Hey, don't think about that. We're careful. We're smart. We'll stay ahead of them. <sighs> Luck runs out just as easily as gas. There's gonna be a last one, you know? A last tank of gas. Last piece of food. What if this place is empty? And and the next? And the next? Doesn't, We're not gonna let that happen. Doesn't help thinking about that. Okay? <sighs> okay. I let it have its five minutes. <clears throat> I'm good. Just gonna have a little bit of a freak out moment. Understandable. That's how I spend every day of my life. <laughs> I like how it says hold R2 to walk faster. No, it doesn't. Oh, hey, I just saw you hanging up there. Are you gonna give me attitude, little boy? <laughs> Probably. What's going on in there, buddy? You're not my dad. <laughs> I'm in a bad mood, okay? I wanted to go away, but he won't. Hormones. I just wish we weren't always on the road. I like being with other people. It's just people are overrated. We're in that car for so damn long. The AC hasn't worked in ages, and then it, it ain't my last damn tape. Well, that's a sweet idea, but it's safer to keep moving. I, I don't know. Maybe just leave me alone. Okay, but if you want to talk later, I'm around. Okay. I mean, it must be rough being a teenager in the apocalypse. Oh my god. <laughs> you had a little bit of freak out. This one looks promising. Um, and having to go through all those hormonal changes during that. Bingo. Oh, nice. All right, well, that's one. Okay, tire stack. Ugh, I don't think these tires would fit the Ow. van. Uh, wonder what that ladder leads to. Too risky to search up there. Doesn't look stable. Sounds like there's something in my room. All right, let's siphon from that other car if I can. Some sort of fuel tank. Let me just kick it real quick. Uh, dump truck? Man, nothing up there but garbage. Tires, paint cans, old newspaper. <sighs> All that's left in this junkyard is... junk. <laughs> that would make sense. Alright, let me try to siphon from this one because I didn't end up finishing what I was doing. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> the can disappeared. Ugh, not much. But every bit helps. Alright, that's not bad. Come to Papa. Barely anything. What? 
need to find more. I feel like I'm doing well. <laughs> Mr. Judgy. Alright, let's see what this ladder is about. Looks like there's more to see up here. Should probably tell my gang where I'm going. I guess I'll see Any what's up there. Some. But not enough. Gabe? Hey, Gabe. Let's go take a look over there. Gabe? Stay close to Javi. Got you know it? my mom. <laughs> oh, all right. <laughs> Okay, well, he listened to me. Uh, I feel like it's too early to get anyone killed, so I should be fine. We'll see, though. Oh, that's pretty. Hey, look. There's one they never took to pieces. Oh. Good catch. It was right there, but good catch. <laughs> okay. locked all right here goes nothing oh gotta hold it fuck yeah I said the fuck word don't take after me Gabe I'm gonna not do what I did with Clem and <laughs> look at all that <laughs> try not to swear in front of the kids this is gonna take a while why don't we find more gas cans? <laughs> we should do that. Also, locked. Oh well. At least it had some gas. We could smash that window and just unlock it, right? That's how that works, <laughs> right? Wouldn't you want the supplies in there? You're probably Shit. gonna need them. Come and get some, bitch. It's wearing a prison outfit. Hmm. Looks like it came from in there. Gabe, stay close. I wonder if Clem is here. I don't know when they're gonna interact with each other, or if this is just all, you know, their story right now. Either way, I'm excited. Uh, she said stay close. <laughs> Hello? Might be able to get in through the hatch. <sighs> Looks pretty run down. Wait, well, before I go in there, I'm gonna look around a little bit. So I'm not missing anything. Whoa, do you see that? His shadow is bald. <laughs> The shadow don't have any hair. Oh. Wonder if we can get into that. Ransacked a long time ago. Okay. Can we get in through there? Maybe this is safer? I don't think I can fit. Well, maybe I can. Never mind. <laughs> oh. Hello? <laughs> Gabe, come check this out. Stop lollygagging. Not the cleanest place. Well, no more those at least. Where are those? I think that means dead, Just be right? Careful. Um, okay. Well, it looks like whoever's here has a lot of stuff. Which makes you feel like they're gonna come back. Wow, this place is decked out. <laughs> I know, right? Oh god. Sleeping bag. Oh, it looks pretty comfortable. And pretty gross. Yeah. <laughs> is that applesauce? I'm trying to look at the... Okay, well, I tried to look at that, but I guess it's not important.
Batteries? Oh, for her thingy. Double A's. I know someone will be happy to see these. Hell yeah. Pick them up. Okay. Can I not take anything from here? Oh, here we go. Okay. Are you kidding me? Lucky for you, they put enough preservatives in this stuff to last for centuries. Well, there's enough food in here to keep us going for a long time. Oh, but it's someone else's. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Wait, why are you here? Oh my god, I thought she was alone. Oh, check it out. This is actual honest to god pudding. Hell Seriously? yeah. And I love pudding. It's not just food. There's a mattress. There's blankets. Someone else's mattress. Someone else's blankets. We need to just take our gas and get on the road. Uh. This place does have a funny feeling about it. And if Muertos were to somehow surround us. Great. Now I'm officially creeped out. Come on, one night. We bunk down, eat a real meal. It would be nice not to sleep in the van for a change. Please. The herd is coming if it's not here already. We should go and get ahead of it before it's too late. The fence is reinforced. We'll be fine. We found this. Why can't we just enjoy it? Javi, can we? We could stretch out, sleep well for once. I feel Come like on, we no, should just big deal. sleep here for the night. We've got guns. We can protect ourselves. Uh, okay. It will feel so much better after some real sleep. Fine. The kids are right. We deserve a little break from the van. Yes! Kids, go wild. Just stay indoors <laughs> and keep your ears open. Just in case. They need a they need cool. to feel like kids for once, own. you know. Okay, well. I know she's pissed at me, but come on. Oh god. Mm. Mm. Just save them for old. Nah, just give it to her. Oh, guess what? Uh, now you can really drown us out. Oh, that's such a bad idea. <laughs> oh no, is she not gonna hear? Mm, is she not gonna hear them when we need her to? No. I don't know how I always end up being the mean stepmom, and you get to be the cool uncle. Just for once. We should be able to switch roles now and then. <laughs> Keep the kids off balance. Oh, come on. That's not fair. You're cool to me. Wow. That means <laughs> so much. Really. Grab some gas. We're out of here in a few hours. Hey, uh, wait. But you... What's that? Oh, hell yeah. You're the cool one, remember? She'd expect it from you. I already gave her battery, so can I have it? <laughs> okay. She did pray for it. Let's keep that gas close, though. What the fuck do you think you're doing with our gas? Oh. Hey, guys. Go on, speak up! This is my gas. Um. I'm sorry, man. Look, it's just a can. We needed it really we? bad. I fucking knew it. There's more than just you out here. You ain't the loner Damn time. it. <laughs> I can tell. Uh, I know you got people. Shit. Um. Look, don't worry about them. They took off and then they're not coming back. Just up <laughs> and left you, huh? <laughs> uh, yeah. Fan out look for the others. No. Lonnie, you're with me. Shit. Mm-hmm. Probably should have just left. Hey! You assholes <sighs> in there! I got your boy! If you don't want him getting shot, you best come out there careful with your hands up! Go on, you first. You get ambushed by your own people, that shit's gonna make my day. Man, you just said that really loud, dude. Open it real slowly. What if I punch you in the face instead? Don't fuck around with me. Fine. 
Okay, good. They probably went through the hatch. Yes. I told you that they left! <laughs> mm. Should have saved those batteries and I'll chuck them in his face. Or oh, shit. Looks like you and your friends had a real face, Tom. That was my pudding. <laughs> you can't just take what you I like. I ate them all. <laughs> I don't roll over like that. I ate all those. Yeah. I me. like pudding. <laughs> you? By yourself? Yeah. Now, yeah, what can I say? <laughs> I fucking love pudding. <laughs> you got a real <laughs> smart mouth. You fucking watch what you say. <laughs> I fucking love pudding. Right? Look, I, I, I get it, all right? You're starving. Who the fuck is it? <laughs> At the end of your rope, thought you hit pay dirt. Honest mistake. But I got this sneaky fucking feeling that you don't like pudding. <laughs> that you're full of shit. No, I'm not. Oh god. I ain't gonna let it be like the last time some assholes rolled on us. <laughs> Keep an eye on this dickhead. I'm gonna grab some cuffs. You got it. Can we reason with you? Just chill, okay? No need to make this any harder. Oh, you got a deep voice, sir. Look, your buddy's not thinking straight. So let's talk, okay? You and me, we, we can get this sorted out. No, it's his call. Look, man, this doesn't have to go. What the fuck was that noise? Why? What you Re got? I really? Got him, boy. The <laughs> it's my dog. <laughs> if you know something, you better spill it. You don't want me finding out for myself. Uh. Come on, man. What else? There are muertos down there. There were a bunch of them outside too. The dead, huh? Well then, we better take care of that, shouldn't we? Mm. Oh fuck. Ooh. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Guys, get the fuck in here! Oh no. No. Holy shit! Oh man. Why did I throw my gun away? Oh my God. You have to pay for what you done here. Jeez. Oh. I'm so sorry, Javi. But what where am I? Oh, man. Hey, my family, where are they? What did you do with my family? Uh... Answer me! Just do us both a favor and pretend you're still asleep. I wouldn't start talking if I were you. You're lucky we do things a certain way. I'm already tempted to put a bullet in your brain for what you did to Lonnie back then. If we start talking, I'm gonna get angry. There's got to be a way we can work all this out. You know, make a deal or something. I don't know. It ain't my call, all right? You best be glad it ain't. Please, just s stop, all right? You don't want me riled up, kid. Not another word or God help me, I'll put you to sleep myself. We still got a haul ahead of us, and I'm not about to listen to you. What the hell? Oh, stop. Stop! Oh, shit! Oh, no, no! Oh, shit. Okay, well, this is a good thing. <laughs> yes, grab it. Oh, God. Hey! That's gonna come back to bite me, but... Uh... Oh, that's gonna come back to bite me. Yep, absolutely is. <sighs> Fuck. <sighs> yeah. <sighs> Alright. That's good. Just keep looking forward. Uh... Yay! <laughs> Yay! 
<laughs> oh my god, Clem! I recognize your voice. Um. Look, I'm already having a bad fucking day here. This is not what it looks like. Looks like you let him go. <laughs> I doubt he'd have done the same for you. My girl! Oh, she looks so good. Oh my god, look at her. Okay, now don't do anything stupid. Because I'm not as nice as you. I won't hesitate. Oh my god, I love her so much. Yes. You're a kid. Oh my god. Well, wait, She's so you much do that older. With the tree? I was trying to stop the truck. Well, you did. <laughs> it's impressive. Oh, shit. Uh. <laughs> what do you need the truck for? To drive. Huh. <laughs> Put your hands up and close your eyes. <laughs> Look, I'm the victim here. We're all victims. Oh, so it's okay for you to rob me. <laughs> this is payment for saving you. That's my... That's my candy bar. Hey, that's for my niece. She loves chocolate more than anything. I promised it to her. Please. <laughs> Keep your eyes closed and count to a hundred before you go. Wait, just... My family. I need to get back to them. We were attacked and I don't... Look, I just need to know where I am. We were driving down the 522 and, and that's when we found the junkyard. They're still there. I need to get back to them. I know where that is. You said you were driving? In our van, yeah. I'll take you to the junkyard if you let me have your van. Damn. I get you there in one piece, then I drive away. Okay. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. You got a deal. Good. Let's go. I don't know, man. This really necessary? I don't know you. I don't trust you. And I'm not taking any chances. Oh my god, I love her so, so much. So it's safer for both of us if you're tied up. I love you. Look, I get it. You're being cautious. Glad we understand each other. The name's Javier, by the way. People call me Javi. Clementine. <laughs> Clementine. Cool name. If you say so. <laughs> it's weird not playing as her, but... I love her so much. Baby girl. She's so pretty and grown up now. Cool boots, too. Damn. Uh oh. It's a very noisy weapon, though, she has. Okay, good. Aww. Still using those techniques. You're good at that. He still has that short hair. Look, you don't want to talk. Fine. But how about you give me that gun back so I can at least defend myself? For all I'd know, you'd turn around and use it on me. That's what the attitude. Uh. You give me a weapon, we can protect each other. I give you a weapon, I can't take my eyes off you. At least this way I know what I'm up against. Man, the graphics are so good. Oh, there's a herd. The herd caught up with us. Shit. Mm. Muertos. What do you call them? Walkers. Well, what do you call the ones that run? Mm -hmm. They're all fucking walkers, okay? <laughs> Look, I'm just... I'm not used to being around other people. Not for a while, anyway. Don't tell me Kenny is dead already. <laughs> it's just me on my own. Sounds kind of lonely if you ask me. Well, I didn't ask you. <laughs> and anyway, I prefer it like that. What about is she just being careful and not telling him about the others? So, who's at this junkyard? My brother's kids. And his wife. It's impressive, surviving this long. Not sure how you did it. Just 
keeping everyone together like that. Well, I didn't do it alone. My, uh, well, uh, Kate helped. She did most of the work, actually. Sounds nice, having a partner. It is. How about you? You must have been pretty young when this shit started. I was. But some people looked out for me, too. What happened to them? Same thing that happens to everyone. Mm. Shit. We can't stay here. There's a town up ahead. We can stay there until the herd passes. Otherwise, we're walker food. Can you do that, please? We can't make a detour. I need to get to my family. And I need that van. But right now, you have to trust me. Oh, you mean the way you trust me? Don't make me regret this. Come on! Oh boy. I love being with Clem. It makes me so happy. But, again, it's weird not playing as her. There! But it's a cool way for everything to come full circle. That's not Wellington. Get to the right? gate. Or that's just a junkyard. Open up. Oh god. Shit. Is that Wellington? I don't Wait, what? Hey. Open up. Oh jeez. Thank you, bearded man. I can't open the gate till you clear them out. Can't you can't just it. let us sneak in? Huh? It would take us two seconds. Okay. Okay. How about, how about now? Fuck! These bullets won't fire! Oh, jeez. Uh... Get your ass inside! <laughs> Thank Come you. Now. Like, finally. Can't you just shut it behind you? Oh! Who's that? And damn it, Francine, one of these days those doors are gonna close and your ass will be on the other side. <laughs> yeah, and when that day comes, Trip, I promise I'll eat you first. <laughs> it's Clementine, right? You staying a while this time? No. Once the walkers pass, I'm taking this guy to a junkyard off the highway. Huh. My family might be trapped there, hiding from some very bad dudes. Well, shit. I'm truly sorry to hear that. This herd rolled in pretty quick. We're hoping it's gone just as fast. So, just keep your heads down and steer clear of trouble. You got me? There's too much going on outside She's the walls. So no watch out for. It. We'll be cool. Just need a place to ride out the herd. That's all. All right. I'm gonna hold you to that, and I wouldn't recommend changing your mind if you want to hang on to all your teeth. Is, is this Wellington? I don't remember. Now head on in. I got shit to do. Well, welcome to Prescott. Oh, okay. No, it's not. <laughs> this is Prescott. I want to see AJ. It's a pretty cool place, actually. Canny. Built from an old airstrip, I guess. Wow. Why do you need a van? The people, on the other hand, they're not my favorite. Huh. Oh, well. Usually I'm in and out as quick as I can manage. Not exactly an option this time, though. Hey, what's the problem? You have some sort of history here that I should know about? Not really. I just... I know what people are capable of. <laughs> hey, Javi. What's... what's up? He wants to go to his family. My family? They're still out there. In the middle of all that. If you guys made it this long, I I'm sure you know... they'll know what to do. Hopefully. Let's go. This way. I gotta see a guy about some bullets. <laughs> Kenny? <laughs> Kenny, please? Jeez. I haven't been in a place like this since... Well, you know. Hmm. It's just like the old days. Listen, I gotta take care of something. Hang tight. Well, wait, wait. What should I do? I don't know. 
Why don't you make some friends? <laughs> Where are you going, Missy? Uh, where did she go? Chess set. Chess. Not really my game. I think Gabe used to play, though. My question is, where would they have the baby? She makes it sound like she's not with anyone anymore, but maybe she's just being Looks safe like about it. Looks like someone's in the middle of a game. I don't know. I'm confused. I wonder where they found this old thing. I haven't seen one of these in years. Phantom Punch. <laughs> That's great. Hi. Can I talk to you? Oh, no. Well, he's not going anywhere. She was looking at someone specific. Hi, people. Is this a play your hand? You're gonna lose, but you don't have to do it in slow motion. Don't try and rush me. <laughs> I know your game. This is my game. Clearly. Always a smart ass. Well, it ain't gonna work. Hi. <laughs> do you like new people? Oh, God. Excuse me. Oh, you again. <laughs> you got some moves. I'll give you that. Hold on a minute. Don't I note you from somewhere? I don't know. Maybe. Garcia. Javier Garcia. For what it's worth, I think you got screwed on the gambling thing. <laughs> a lifetime ban. Wow. Should have had a 20 year career. <laughs> the way I see it, nothing wrong with betting on yourself to win. <laughs> and that got a lifetime ban? <laughs> nah, they just wanted to set an example. I was the poor bastard they used to do it on. All I know is what I read in the papers. Hmm. Anyway, I'm Conrad. This here's Francine. He runs the place. I just take his money. <laughs> yeah, well, maybe I'm just letting they you They use win. money? Oh, actually, if you're the gambling type, game's poker. Five card stud. I don't know I how to play you. poker. What do you think? <laughs> should I call or should I fold? I don't know. Hmm. Don't get too intimidated. I lose more often than I care to admit. He's bluffing. He's got bullshit written all over. <laughs> Is that a fact? All right. I think I'll listen to the man. <laughs> Call him. Oh, Moment of truth. Flip him. Oh my. Ain't that a pretty sight? He's probably. Yeah. <laughs> oh hell yeah! Nice. Well, oh, calm wow. down, both of you. Thanks for the advice, hun. How's about a drink? I might Don't tab. mention it. Yeah, I know. I have no idea how to play poker at all. Bottom Only one. thing I've done is that Mario. Oh, man, this smells like turpentine. <laughs> uh, mini game. <laughs> That's the weak stuff. Don't turn away from me. I'm talking to oh, you. Oh shit. Clem. <laughs> oh god. Hey, what's the point in talking when I already told you, you a deal's a deal, and it's done? What's going on? This guy ripped me off. I traded him a crate of perfectly good batteries, and he gave me a box of bullets oh, that won't shit. fire. Oh shit! I should have kept the batteries. He could have gotten both of us killed. Oh yeah, and who the fuck are you, a bodyguard or something? Um. Cause I don't scare easy, all right? And I don't respond to threats neither. She doesn't need a bodyguard. She can take care of herself. Believe me. Uh, well, you can't even prove those are the bullets I traded you. Oh, hey, Clem, come on. He knows the bullets don't work. Oh. Listen to him. He's not even nervous. Damn. I could have died because of his bullets. Oh, I'm fucking believable. Look out! Oh my god. Oh my god. What the fuck is wrong with you, dude? Jeez. Asshole. Hey, listen. Let's all cool down. Well, he shouldn't huh? be scared because the bullets don't work. You're acting crazy. I was too. We just got a little out of hand. That's all. Just give me what I'm owed. Jesus. You gotta get her under control, man. This ain't no way to do business. Listen. <laughs> you scrit, you knifed my face. Had a deal. All right, hey, okay, all right, so, hey, we'll, we'll trade back. I'll find some batteries. I don't need batteries. What I need are bullets that won't get me killed. Oh. <gasps> oh. Oh, no. oh, no. Drop the gun. Oh, Right shit. now. Say he attacked you and that he was going for his gun. 
I fucking warned you! Eli attacked him. I only shot because... Shut it! You done enough talking. Drop it. Uh... There's a herd out there and you're firing off a fucking... What the fuck happened here? He attacked Javi, okay? It was self-defense. Enough from you. I have the... Did she really have to shoot? I have the scratch on my face to prove it. Listen. Uh... Look at my eye, man. Of course she's telling the truth. The guy ripped her off, reached for his gun, and would have shot me if she hadn't stopped him. See? You happy now? <sighs> God damn it. <laughs> I'm putting you two under lock and key until I figure out what to do with Whoa! Oh, hey, what? Are you for real? As real as it gets. Now move it. Got some nerve coming in here fucking up my bar. <laughs> Man, and I was making friends too. Damn it, Clem. I oughta punch your fucking lights out. Both of you. But Eli was a grade A certified dipshit. Yeah, and he was gonna get... I'll even have someone come take a look at that Clem cut. killed. Hey, thanks for having my back at the hangar. That was, um, that was cool of you. I wasn't sure there for a minute. Of course. Anytime. Well, I mean, you and I are a team now. Thanks. I mean it. Yay! <laughs> Just don't think this makes us friends or anything. Hello? Hi. She's pretty. <laughs> the way she rolled her eyes. I'm Eleanor. I'm what passes for a doctor around here. The trip sort of overdoes it sometimes. <sighs> I hate that I'm treating you in a cage. Like you're some feral animal. Uh... Javier. Pleasure's all mine. <laughs> Is it now? Yep. Now. <laughs> Let's see about that wound. It was self-defense. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> she just yeah, his face. Yeah, got you good. Try to hold still. <clears throat> Why is it always the pretty ones who end up causing the most trouble? <laughs> As if good looks equal bad behavior or something. You think I'm pretty? <laughs> I've never understood it. Are you calling me pretty? <laughs> I was talking about Eli, the dead guy. Sure. Oh, yeah, good. Because I prefer dashing. Or debonair, maybe. <laughs> yeah. I'll try to keep that in mind. Mm -mm. Clum's like, get me out of here. People are saying she killed a man in cold blood. It was an accident, though. If you don't mind me asking, what did happen exactly? That they were arguing and that she went crazy over nothing? Listen. Look, things got out of hand. Clementine was only trying to make a point, but then... You make it sound so casual. Best thing is probably for you two to leave town and get back to your I didn't mean to really tell her, though. We were attacked earlier this evening. There were four of us. Oh, shit. I'm sorry. If there's... If there's anything I can do to help. I feel like, I don't well, not that I have much to offer you, but... I don't know if I can trust her. I know a her. thing or two about losing family. Um... I wouldn't want to make any trouble for you. This whole thing's been... Pretty messy. I hear you, but... Eleanor? You done yet? Just about. All right, here's what we're gonna do. I'm driving you that junkyard myself. Get you out of my hair, and no one can say I didn't do right by no one. Wow. In the meantime, Thanks, dude. you two can sleep right here and think about what shitheads you were earlier. On my <laughs> terms and on my timeline. You got me? Uh... All right. Fair enough. Fair enough? Go kiss a skunk's ass. I should be earning a goddamn Boy Scout badge for this. <laughs> it is nice of him to be fair. Trip, it doesn't seem right to wait. Javi's people, they could need a medic. Nah, no way. Not putting you in that kind of danger again. That's not your call. Look, maybe there's another way. We've got a rear gate down at the other end of the airfield. We don't use it much, but, well, we could leave tonight. Slip past the herd, get a jump start on reaching that junkyard. Uh, if your family does need help, I'll be right there to give it. What? Seriously? I mean, you do that for me. It's just, 
It's the right thing to do. Anyway, think about it. I've got to check on some patients, but I'll be back in an hour. Oh, she's sweet. You know, I never would have guessed she had a dinner. Yeah, she's... She's something. The thing is, is, and maybe this sounds weird, but I still trust Trip more than I trust her. Really? Uh, I still, I feel like it's weird that she, okay. Let's pause it for a second. <laughs> I feel like she's being awfully, like, nice very fast. I mean, Javi is attractive, not gonna lie. But would she really risk everything for people she just met that started, like, a fight, you know? Uh, and I don't want to get her killed, but... I know his family needs help, like, right now. But it's already been so long that, like, if anything was gonna happen, I feel like it would have happened already. Let's just wait on it. You're right. Trip's got more muscle, just in case. We'll wait and get a ride with him. Glad you're finally listening to reason. You know, I've been nice to you. you. I thought you'd just be another asshole like everyone else. And to think that when we first met, you nearly <laughs> blew my head off. <laughs> yeah, guess I made the right call. For now. It's gonna be a while before that herd passes. We might as well get some sleep. Yeah, and the herd Good idea. is like right there. I'm exhausted. I'll get the lamp. So. I don't know. I don't know. I never know if I'm making the right choice in this series. Aww. Oh. You alright, Clem? Flashback? Oh my god! Oh my god, look at him! Look at him! Oh my god! Baby boy! Oh. <sighs> AJ. Oh. That's dinner. Aren't you hungry? <sighs> We're out of food, AJ. We're going to starve. I'm starving. We got to Oh. It's still there. Oh my god, he's so big. Look at his little chubby cheeks. Oh. AJ, stay here while I find us dinner, okay? No. Uh, Tell me you understand. No. <sighs> uh. Please, we need this, AJ. We need food. You gotta be brave, okay? <sighs> oh. Baby. Come on. Oh. AJ! Oh my god! Oh, his crying. Get away from him! Oh god. Oh. This cursor is very weird. I can't see what I'm doing. Oh. Oh shit! <laughs> Oh my god. Oh my god. I can't see where it is. Oh. Jeez. Oh, god. oh, her fingers. Oh, Jesus. Wait, what? She's missing a finger? Hey, Clem. We almost there. I didn't even notice that. 
Hey. Did I just not Clem. see it? Oh. Yeah, we're close. I gotta say, I hope your people Did are I safe and sound. Did I just not see that? Eleanor asked me before we left to make sure of it. Oh, yeah? Jeez. Yes, sir. So that's what I'm gonna do. Though why she went to bat for you, I've got no idea. I mean, she hardly even knows you. And you don't know her, for that matter. I'm <laughs> jealous. Makes a guy Seems wonder, like a... you know? You know. There's not much mystery to it, Trip. She's a good human being. Yeah. Eleanor's got a big heart. That's for damn sure. I shouldn't pick on him. He's going out of his way to help us. Guys, I want some more flashbacks. <laughs> oh. oh shit. What a mess. Oh man. I hope they're okay. Jesus. Must have been hundreds of them. Kate's good in a crisis. She'd know how to get shelter. What's that? Wait. Oh, the cassette player. Mariana's tape player. Mariana? Aww. Mariana, are you here? Javi! Oh my oh god. Oh my god, they're here? You're safe! I can't believe it! You told me where to hide. I just listened to what you said. Lock yourself in and don't Aww. come out, not even once it's quiet. It kept running through my head like on a loop. I don't even know how long I was in there. Then I heard your voice. I thought I was hallucinating at first. I'm so sorry I left you behind. I've been trying to get back here this whole time. You don't have to be sorry. You said you'd come back, and you did. Kate, and Aww. your brother, where are they? We got pulled apart when that huge bunch of muertos showed up. Kate yelled that they were gonna try to make it back to the van. And that's where we're headed. Let's go find your brother, sweetheart. Oh no. Oh. No. No sign of him. They must have seen it like this, then uh, gone someplace else to hide. Clem needed that van, though. Kate. Oh, shit. They're trapped in there. Mariana, stay back. Can we make a distraction? Something? Oh. Time to die. <laughs> I'm glad they're okay, it seems like. I hope Man Bun doesn't die. Nice. Wait, what? Did he get hurt? Oh no. Ah. Okay. Javi! Whew. You found us. Hey. Yay! Hey. Oh it's no, okay. is she? I got you. Hurt? You happy to see me? Oh, uh oh. That just just my gun. I'm happy to see all of you. I hope you're <laughs> I, okay. I'm sorry. Another couple of minutes. We might not have been. I'm sorry. It just feels then weird. You showed up just I when it really know. mattered. Yeah. Isn't well, that That's kind of my thing. Not like the bro code. You don't <gasps> go after I, I wanted to come after you. I swear I did. You don't have to snot all over my shirt about it. <laughs> I thought we were dead. Like, never gonna see you again dead. We only had a couple bullets left. Oh, I thought we were done for. You're still alive, aren't you? So is Kate. So is Mari. That's all that matters. I was just so scared. I'm here now. You don't have to be scared. Hey, you hurt yourself. You must have scraped it in the truck. Didn't even notice. Hey, at least it's not a bite. Well, not much we can do about it here. I've got a lady friend who's a doctor. As soon as we get back to Prescott, she'll patch you right up. I'm Trip, by the way. Pleasure to make your acquaintance. We should be getting back. Don't want to push her luck. Who's the kid with <laughs> the gun? She have a name you want to share with us? Or 
Are you gonna make me do my own introductions? <laughs> Clementine's a friend. Hi there. Glad I was able to help. Well, we're very grateful to you. Really. There's a town nearby. It's safe. I like the sound of that. Oh my god. Javi, do they have hot water? Maybe. Even like lukewarm water would be okay. I think they hate us, so I oh, don't get your hopes up. Bath. Wouldn't oh. bubble bath be amazing? I think so. Right, Trip? <laughs> well, I guess you'll find out. I thought you'd been to this place. I have. I just... I didn't have much time to relax in my jacuzzi suite, <laughs> you know? Between you and me, these kinds of missions don't usually go so well. But you found every single one of your people. And you found them alive, healthy, reasonably cheerful. It's a hell of a thing. Guess I'm a lucky guy. Luckier than anyone I've ever met. Yeah, don't jinx it, honestly. Like, stop. <laughs> when we get back to Prescott, you still owe me a working ride. I haven't forgotten about our deal. You couldn't have known what happened to your van, but still, I need some way out of here. I was hoping you might stay. You know, considering... Considering what? You came all the way out here with me. Yeah, for the van, not for... Cool. Aww. Hopefully it still works. I'm scared. Thanks. Scared? Oh my god, I knew it! God damn it! No! Mari. Oh god. Oh, I liked her. Oh no. You fucking thieves. Really funny you could just walk back in here like nothing happened. Oh man. <laughs> I don't think so. God damn it. Javi! We can't leave her! Oh my god! Shit! Oh my god! Oh. Is all my family gonna Kate. die? <laughs> oh my god! Stop! Stop! Oh my god! Oh no! Javi, help! Uh. Do something, Javi! Just do something! I don't know. I don't know. Oh, this is so stupid. What am I doing? 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 Go! Oh my god. Oh, Jesus. Jesus, I'm so... She just... I know, Harvey. And there'll be time for all that, but not right now. Kate needs a doctor. <laughs> Which means we gotta go. We got a window here, man. Uh. We gotta get a move on before they start shooting again. I can't leave her like this. I won't. You wanna die too? You think that's gonna help your little girl? Then get the fuck up and help me. It's time to go, man. Okay. We stay here and we finish this. Are you fucking nuts? We gotta get the fuck out of here right now. I already now. killed one of you. If we don't stop them, they're gonna come after your family again. But is I she gonna help them? You stay with me. What? No, uh, Javi, you have to come with us. Javi, please. Trust me, Javi. We have to end this now. No, Javi, please come with us. Ugh, oh God, why? <laughs> I hate these decisions. Man, I really don't know what to do. I, I really, I feel like either option is bad. I don't want to I don't want to risk them coming back. But I don't know if we can kill all of them. I know that Gabe and whatever, they're going to be pissed that we didn't go with them, but like what if they come back and and do this again? We already let them go once and then Mariana died. I don't know, hopefully we can on. take care of them. Get back to Prescott. We'll cover you. Javi, I'm sorry. Go with them. I'll be fine. I know he's going to hate me, here, but kid. Just keep firing until they're out of sight, okay? I'm is ready. this gonna work? Like, is this worth it? I don't know. Oh, I don't know. Oh shit. Hop, 
Abby, don't! Ah! Oh, God. <laughs> oh, my God. I hate these choices. Family road trip. Oh, my God. Uh, okay. Okay, so our choices are shown through the credits. That's interesting. Oh, whoops. Did you stay the night at the junkyard? You and 54.6% of players chose to stay the night in the junkyard. Yeah. <laughs> Did you shoot the driver or let him go? You and 52.2% of players chose to let him go. Again, don't know if I made the right call on that one. I mean, at least Clem didn't meet me by seeing me murder someone. So, you know. Oh, wow. It was an afternoon. Wow, so you can You don't have to get locked up? You and 94.3% of players got locked up. Wow. Brought you to the junkyard. You and 49.7% of players went on a trip to the junkyard. Yeah, I mean, I feel like... I don't think it was a bad decision. I know it's the lesser of the two, but... I feel like that girl was, like, really quick to help us. I don't know, maybe I'm being paranoid. But... Oh, wow. <laughs> you and 84.1% of players stayed with Clementine. Yeah, I mean, I was really thinking about it, but... I don't want them to have a chance to come back after us. And I feel like it's better to just take care of it now. But, oh my god, I feel so bad. Okay. Well, looks like I made the more popular choices most of the time. We'll see. I don't know, man. Okay, looks like there's no uh, next time on The Walking Dead uh, preview thing, but... That's fine with me. I feel like a lot of the time they did spoil um, a lot of stuff, so maybe that's a good thing. So that was season three, episode one. Really enjoying this so far. I do like uh, Javier a lot. I think he's a great character, uh, very charming and likable. And I like his family. Um, and I'm really upset that Mariana died because I thought she was so sweet and so adorable. I mean, I. I guess there was no way to stop it. I mean, I figured I had a really bad feeling when she was like standing there smiling. That's usually a recipe for disaster. And I just I felt too weird about it. So, you know, kind of saw that one coming. But um, Gabe is like the emo edgy one. He's I don't know how to feel about him yet. I think he's just going through a lot. And obviously, I mean, he just lost his sister. I think that was his sister. And then there's Kate, who I like as well, but I just feel weird about them having a romance. I don't know. It's too, like... <laughs> I get that he might not ever see his brother again, but on the off chance that he does, like, sleeping with his wife or whatever, I don't know if they've done stuff before, but, man, it's just, it's just rubbed me the wrong way. But yeah, it's interesting playing as um, new characters. I like that. Um, but I also... It begs, it begs the question, like, what happened to Kenny and AJ? That's what I'm worried about. I feel like they might be gone at this point. I mean, I think AJ's still alive. I feel like Kenny... We're probably going to see what happened to them maybe in episode two or something. But I assume Clem needs a van because she needs to find them, possibly. Maybe they got separated at some point. I really don't know. But um, I like seeing those flashbacks. And he's so... Oh my god, he's such a little nugget. He's such a little chicken nugget. I love him so much. He's adorable. Um, but yeah, I am very much enjoying season three so far. The graphics are amazing. They really, really improved the graphics. Like everything about like the facial like animations and everything about it. It just looks so good. I think all the characters look a lot different too, which is nice. There's a lot of variation. Um, where in like the first like few seasons, um, a lot of characters did you could tell that they use like the same character model you know but for this it's like it's all really different and i really like it um yeah i hope you guys are enjoying so far if you are leave a like or subscribe if you're new because i'd love to have you stick around and watch me play some video games and hang out with me i'll see you guys in the next video goodbye